welcome everybody to Chrono Reviews. And now I'm going to take a look at Nanoa Takamachi from Acta, made by Good Smile Company. I finally got this delivered and it arrived today and that makes me very very um, excited because I have awaited this figure for quite some time and with the release a little bit pushed back and everything I finally have it and this is my second Axta because I got the Tiana Lanster one so let's check out if this one is better equal or not as good but I can't really imagine it being not good so alright let's check the box first off just what, like with uh, Tiana the Axta boxes are a little bit less attractive compared to the Figma ones which have more um, nice and flashy artwork but uh, well it's blue and it matches Nanoha and there are still some textures here of uh, uh, medical seals and stuff but well starting off that the um, license sticker is here in the top edge of the, on the left and it says Nanoha Takamashi and the movie first because this is Nanoha from the movie and on the side here is some poses of her and on the other side there is a bigger picture of Nanoha and on the back here is more poses and pictures of the figure itself and information and everything and on the top there is a big picture of Nanoha and under it there is just it says Nanoha and Axta. So let's not waste time on more on this and open this up. Right, the insert of the box is very nice, I noticed, because it's toned in a purplish pink color to silver and it's very shiny and nice thing inside. I didn't even notice that insert. And there's also instructions on some of the extras on the figure. And the figure itself comes in plastic casing, just like with Tiana. And it's double layered, so here is the figure itself, and uh, the faces, and the weapons, and the flyer fins. And also on the back is the base, and extra flying fins or shoot for shooting mode of the device, and the hands and stuff. Alright, here she are. Axta Nanoha Takamashi from... Mechago Lyrical Nanoha, the movie first. And I must say, this is a very, very nice figure. And checking it out closely, you can see all the shadings, the clothing, the shaded effects on the hair, which is um, one of the features of Axta, which is Action Statue. It's like a hybrid of Figma and a statue. And I think they have really succeeded on those. As I love my Tiana Lanster, it's one of my favorite figures. And the eyes on the anime figures always amaze me because they always look so clean and, and living. Let's look at the shading here. Brilliant. Now let's check out all the articulation on this. You can see the head first off, you can turn sideways, up and down. And there's an extension of the hair there, so for the articulation. Also, her, her tails are can swivel so they can be moved a little bit. The arms are on ball joints. A swivel here as well. It's jointed like this. It can also swivel. And the hands are ball jointed as well. And can be pulled out to change hands, of course. There's also this lower part of the shoulder and the upper part can move separately for a movement up and down. To enhance the movement, the torso slightly articulated here, 
and the midsection here are ball jointed. There's also the skirt or dress more likely or this part here are on a ball joint so you can pull it out like this so have one more flow in the air. This as well with those can be pulled out like this. Now I need to loosen this one up because it won't move so I, I will solve that later. And the legs are of course on ball joints and have knee joints. Ball jointed feet and also the front of the the foot are also jointed on a ball joint so you can have her post much easier. I must say all the joints works very nicely on Axta figures and also the sculpting are very smooth for being a posable figure so they are really living up to the name action statue alright let's check out all the extras that comes with Nanoha which is a whole lot well start off with two different faces this shouting face for battle scenes and a happy face and also there's Yuno which is articulated actually the tail swivel all around the legs on cut joints the arms oh it popped off the ball joint the head articulated and the torso so there is some degree of posing for Yuno and there's also a whole bunch of hands to hold her her weapons and uh, all the accessories and there is of course a base this base is clear pink color which is uh, really nice because there was orange color on the Tiana so uh, this makes everything more personalized per figure and character with these different bases that acts to have and that's great and a different part is this it's a rounded uh, base uh, rod instead of the usual more figma like like straight like that and there's this so you can grab her pose her there's also an extra part where is it uh, this one for putting in the hole in the back if you prefer that type and there is also of course her weapon racing heart which is very nicely shaded and everything this is just a so nice touch and I really really think this is a great accessory and there's also racing heart in her shooting mode which is much longer and I think this is a very nice part as well. I think this is the coolest mode. And I love those science fiction like details that the movie version of Nano have. You can also detach it here and here because you can, just like with the Figma, you can add this part that is for the shooting mode when she can hold like this and that also enables for those extra fins to be attached like this there's also flyer fins for her feet as well and now for the last parts which is very nice there is you can have this to attach all around the base wherever you prefer like, oops, like this and those in turn attached to those special parts that's made to be put like this because you can for example have a round shield 
This is made out of thin plastic, but it's clear and it's nice. And this one can be like put on like this and on that one. Then she can hold out her hand and make the shield. There's also the other ones like this, like I shown. You can remove the top part of those to attach those strings. You bend them like this. Then you put this peg part into that. And then you press it down into the holder like this. And you have the magic rings that comes when she is ready to fire. Oops, it's detaching very easily that peg, so be careful with that. It's shooting out again. And there's another one. And then there is one extra rod. So there's two of those smaller rings. There's one of this longer, bigger ring. That is the big ring. And that's also very, very nice. There's a plenty of stuff with this figure. And that's very nice. So now, let me pose her up and compare her to Tiana and show you some nice posing. Alright, Nanoha is posed up with her round shield. So she's probably taking hits from Fate Testarossa or anyone that tries to fire magic at her. It's nice transparent effect on this one. And she is very nice to pose. And here is the Figma version. As you can see the scale is very different but that's because that's a 1 to 8 scale and that's a non-scale but I, I'm not sure Figma is around 1 to 10 or something if I would guess. And here is Tiana Lanster. And she is taller because Simply put, Nanoha is much younger. But I think they look nice together. Both have their own types of base. And they are both the same scale. And they are both very good figures. Yes, I did also attach the rings just for you to see. And I'm probably going to display her with this because this is very nice indeed. Just look at those nice transparent rings and how much effect this gives to the display. Now it's a little bit pain to get those pegs to stick down without the rings but just snapping out and shooing out it so I had to use a little bit of a sticky tack to attach one of them for this display but they are probably going to get used to being bent like that and then they will probably work better I hope also check out the nice transparent effect when I take the figure against the window like this to show against the light to make you see the the fins on the uh, the weapon, how they glow and how nice the base is of those effects. And in nice daylight from outside. So, to sum this up, this figure is very very good. It's just as good as the Tiana Axta, if not better. It got loads of accessories and those extras 
and the figure is very cute and nicely sculpted and have very nice paint job. So I highly recommend this if you're into collecting Axta or if you want to try this out. I highly recommend it. So until next time, take care and I hope you enjoyed it. Sayonara!